Hello snowboarders of the internet, I'm your host Averin Lefebvre and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Libtech Steely D. This board features Mervyn C3 camber profile which is flat then it comes up with a slight dip between the feet in the camber section. Basically it's a more mellow camber 2.0. This is going to give you all the load pop snap and drive out of this board. This board is only available in a 167. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basin on a sunny a bluebird day. You had warmer temps, slush, chop, chunder, ice, dust on crust, kind of just a mix of everything. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings in my K2 Thraxxus boots. With the shaping of this board, it's obviously going to have a directional flex. That means softer nose progressively stiffening back up to the tail. Now, the big thing to note is from inside the rear insert pack back through the tail, it gets a lot stiffer. And then when you go forward from there to the nose, it's gonna get a lot softer. Now the torsional flex is split. From the middle of the board back through the tail, it's stiffer, but from the middle back to the front, there is more give to it. So you can really twist more with your front foot. This helps initiate turns differently. From the back, you're gonna get more power and drive. Now, when it comes to stability, micro vibrations pretty much dissipated. It's a Mervin board, it's a LibTech, they're known for being damp. That's where it's nice. That absorbs all that chatter in there. You don't have to worry about it. You're not gonna get that foot fatigue. Now, when you do get into more rutted out terrain and take a harder jarring body hit, you feel it, but not as prevalent as you would with other boards. This board is very damp and very stable. So one thing to note about the pop with this board is that it wants to stay locked to the ground. Now it is easy to engage that C3 profile. And when you roll back on the tail and engage that flat spot, you will get a little bit of snap. It's not the poppiest, but it's enough to send a side hit or ollie over a fat skier that fell in front of you. Is it gonna boost you to the moon? No. Is it gonna get the job done? Yes, remember to suck your knees up. If you want a butter on this thing, it's a workout. It's a big board with an aggressive flex pattern. High speed wheelies on the tail, you're gonna be leveraging your weight outside that rear insert pack. But swinging this board around to do a 180 and press into the nose, whew, you're not gonna enjoy it. And when you do, you're gonna realize why you don't want a butter with this thing. Stick to turning. You'll thank me for it later. So let's talk about why you came to this review. To hear how this thing turns. It turns exceptionally well. It carves great. You have a smooth and fluid edge to edge initiation outside the front foot, but it steers right underfoot, which really helps with that torsional flex and to guide this thing. But when you want power, it comes from just inside that rear insert pack back through the tail. This is a board that you can lay it over, disengage the front and roop out a carb. Short, tight, quick carves, medium, mellow carves, long, hard, deep, drawn out carves, it's got you covered. And when you lay it over for a Euro carve, you feel locked in. This board turns exceptionally well. I cannot stress that enough. Who's this board for? The Resort Surf Carver. So when I grabbed this board, I wasn't sure what I was gonna get. I knew that it was gonna turn. I didn't know how well it was gonna turn. This turns exceptionally well. It's damp where you want it to be, which does a great job of just dissipating any of that kinetic energy, and it cuts through chop with relative ease. Like I said, it's a great turning board, and you notice the nuances of it when you're being more subtle and steering off the front foot or you're driving it hard off the rear foot. It's one of those boards that kind of just lets you steer how you feel comfortable, and when you want to be aggressive, you can be aggressive, and when you want to be laid back, you can be laid back. Comparable boards. The Karua Cafe Racer. The Jones Free Carver 9000. The Nidecker Gun. Binding recommendations. The Bent Metal Core Pro, the Ride C9, the Battalion Astro Full Wrap. This has been my review of the LibTech Steely D. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here, do you want to support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avon Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.